Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Ephesians 1, verses 4 through 6. And what that verse says, it says, Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for his glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son. So the reason that verse is so near and dear to my heart is because growing up, I wanted to seek the privilege uh, or seek the acceptance of, of my peers, of people around me. Um, there was a time in my life where I, uh, where I actually was with some, uh, some, my brother and some other people and I wanted to get, uh, to, to fit in with them. And so one of the things that we did was we went to the, the neighboring community that was, that they was building and uh we we took the keys out of some of their equipment and um and then we walked around the uh, uh school the next day bragging about it well somebody had told on us that we had done that and uh, ended up having the police come and um really um, bothered uh well they could have arrested us and uh, we could have gotten a lot of trouble over that but uh, however we didn't thank god for that but what I wanted to say is, is I knew that what I was doing was wrong. I knew that, that it was, uh, that I shouldn't have taken the keys. And I knew that it was, you know, I grew up with a moral understanding that we're not to, uh, to steal. However, because I wanted to fit in, I joined in with them and was part of that. And, uh, a lot of times in our lives, we do some crazy things. We'll seek, uh, acceptance in, uh, in relationships with others, with, uh, we'll, we'll even seek, um it can it can go into our to our adulthood as well as like seeking acceptance from our congregations and and others we all want to be liked however we need to understand what this verse says in verse four it says even before god made the world he loved us and chose us in christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes and so what i want you to understand is no matter uh no matter where what you've done in your life your acceptance is right there in verse four it says god loved us and chose us before he formed the world. And so what I want you to understand out of that is, it, is that he knew the things we would do. He knew how, how wretched and horrible we would be in our lives, yet he loved us. And so, and so listen, this goes for, for people that don't have, that are, that are seeking love of a parent, people that are seeking love of a spouse, people that are speaking love of anyone, that, that God is who you find your identity. When we look for our identity, we don't find it in in things we don't find it in people we find it in the fact that jesus christ came to earth lived for us and then he died on the cross and rose again on the third day giving us the ability to put on his cloak of righteousness it's not anything that we've done that accept that, that allows us to go into heaven it but rather it's what he did on the cross that says that he loved us and he chose us to, in his family and so folks i want you to understand that no matter what you've done in your life no matter uh what you're going through Find your identity in Christ and not in these other things because they're going to fail you. They're going to fall away and fall short. But Jesus Christ is right there. He never fails you, and he's going to always be right there beside of you. And, and, and just understand that he loves you no matter what. And so, folks, I just really want you to understand that, that do not seek. Do not seek the acceptance of others when you know something's wrong. I spent the majority of my life doing things I shouldn't be doing because I wanted people to like me. And and even into my ministry, when I first started my ministry, I was I was looking for people to accept me for uh for teaching or for doing these other other things, but I had to find out that I needed to find my identity in Christ, and we find that in verse four. So if you if you would look over that verse and really just pray about it and, and and allow God to speak to you through that man God will tell you that how much he loves you and and he and he'll he'll give you a purpose and God's love is so great that no matter what the the love you feel in the moment Jesus Christ's love is 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 unwavering and perfect so just trust in him God bless you and I pray that this is uh that, that you enjoy this message and I hope that um it finds you well